Hi, I'm Debbie Dalrymple, and I'm going to show you how to remove a header in Word without removing all of the headers in Word. You may want to do this in a long document where you have a title page that you don't want headers on, and then you'd like to have a consistent subtitle or header throughout the rest of the document. So we're going to see how to turn it off on the first page, but leave it on on the rest of the pages. Let's take a look at how to do this in Word. We're using Word 2013 today, but the technique is exactly the same in Word 2010. You'll see here we have a title page with a header at the top of it. And as we scroll through the document, we have the same header throughout the whole document. We would like to remove the header on the first page, but not the rest of the pages. To do this, we can simply double click on one of the headers, and that takes us into header and footer tools. On this design ribbon, we have the option to check the box, different first page. If you check the box, different first page, you'll notice that the header disappeared on the first page, and this header also became named first page header. If we scroll down to page two, the header still appears, and this header is just called header. So technically, we now have two headers in our document. One's empty, and one has Microsoft Word 2013 typed in it. Once you've checked the different first page option, you can simply click the close header and footer button, and now you have no header on the first page, and your header remains unchanged on the subsequent pages. So that's how you can turn off a header on one page and leave it on on the rest of the pages in Microsoft Word.